Hey guys, welcome back to Time Drops and welcome to another review video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the much loved metal Casio, this time in the form of the G-Shock GM2100MF-5. Metal Casio are a real favourite on the channel, so I'm very excited to get things rolling, show you everything it has to offer and tell you why I think this may just be the best one so far. If you're new here, welcome once again. In these review videos, I run through the following. The model of the watch itself, its history and how it came about, and then taking a look at how much it will cost you, its design and functionality, and then finally, taking all of these into consideration, giving you my overall verdict. So if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button and then sit back, relax, and we'll get right on into it. Let's start things off by rewinding the clock a little to 2019, when this model's predecessor, the GA2100 first hit the shelves. And when I say hit the shelves, they essentially just touch them before flying right back off again. These models saw popularity levels even G-Shock wouldn't have imagined, largely due to their octagonal structure, while taking inspiration from the original DW5000 G-Shock model was also reminiscent of luxury watch brand Audemars Piguet's Royal Oak, at just a fraction, and I really mean a fraction of the price. Rather than priced in the multiple thousands, they were just $99. Now, that's not to say that these were in the same category of luxury, of course, but their resemblance, price point, and not to forget durability, meant that these new models were turning heads not only of G-Shock fans, but the entire watch world. Since then, we've seen many iterations of that same model in different colorways, which saw some awesome releases and loads of different colors and materials used throughout. So, of course, naturally, almost straight after, we all wanted G-Shock to go that one step further and add some metal to the watch. And after what some might say was an eternity later, in August 2021, they finally did just that with the introduction of the GM2100. And it's safe to say the demand for such a watch really rang true. And just a short while ago, G-Shock released their Midnight Fog series. G-Shock's intention with the Midnight Fog series is to evoke the feel of a foggy night in the city. As the night fog falls over the skyscrapers of the city, multicolored lights reflect softly in the street, all of which have been reflected in these timepieces. This series includes five watches, all of different models. We have the black GM110MF-1A, a black GMS2100MF-1A, the purple GMS5600MF-6, the blue slash purple GM5600MF-2, which I've in fact reviewed on the channel already, and then finally, the one you're seeing here, the grey and brown or bronze or rose gold metal Casio, the GM2100MF-5A, released right here in 2022. So, let's take a closer look, shall we? Kicking things off with its price. So, how much will this watch cost you? Well, in the US, this model had a retail price of $230, while in Japan, 29,700 yen, and in the UK, 209 pounds. Which brings me on nicely to the sponsor of today's video, Watchshop. Watchshop, as the name suggests, are a huge online watch retailer based in the UK, with thousands of timepieces to choose from from loads of different brands, from your everyday watches to your more special occasion high-end designs. Watchshop are incredibly popular not only for their large inventory, but also their awesome pricing. You'll notice that currently a large amount of stock have a discount of up to 25%. Take a look at this one for example. Currently, they're offering 25% off, taking it down from £209 to £156.75, a very welcome price cut indeed. I personally use Watchshop all the time, predominantly to buy G-Shocks at discounted prices, and honestly, I can't recommend them enough. Delivery times are always super quick, and customer service is top notch, so it's awesome to be teaming up with them. They also offer shipping worldwide, so if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description for you to go check them out. Making judgment on its original retail price, however, I think these GM2100s are a fantastic value for money. So let's head into the design and functionality sections to find out why. Here we are in the design section where the GM2100MF-5 really comes into its own. This metal Casio features a unique translucent design on its resin band, exemplifying its inspiration of a foggy evening, as well as a luxurious brushed finish on its iron-plated stainless steel bezel, which I absolutely love. Now for those of you that are unsure of what iron plating is, it's a modern technique used for a variety of applications, more specifically in the jewellery and watch industry. This process is used to apply a hard wearing and durable finish to products, particularly to complete those crafted from stainless steel. This also allows G-Shock to add a splash of colour to its metal finish. And I have to chat some more about the colour, because this timepiece is one of those classic examples of the stock image not doing the watch the justice it deserves. This colour is actually a much lighter tone in person, 
and the way in which this G-Shock is constructed means it captures the light perfectly and gives off a real glorious shimmer. I somewhat jokingly mentioned that this bezel was brown slash bronze slash rose gold. G-Shock do officially list this as brown, but I wouldn't blame you if you refer to it as one of the latter, because I certainly have. Mostly because, well firstly, these are colours we're more used to hearing in the watch world, secondly because it's a much lighter tone in hand, and lastly because it just sounds better than brown. Let me know what you think in the comments. The indices inside its face are also cut in such a way to catch light from all angles, making this one a real head turner for so many reasons. Now as you can see, this watch is both analogue and digital, giving you the option of how you want to tell the time. But what's great about this GM2100 in particular is that unlike pretty much all of the others released to date, it features a positive display. This is a huge plus from a legibility standpoint. If you're not familiar with what a positive display means, it's where the digits or text on the screen are dark in colour, sat on a light background, as opposed to a negative display being the reverse of that. We discuss positive versus negative displays quite a bit on the channel. My personal take is that I'm happy either way. For me it's just whether it suits the overall design or not but I know lots of people struggle to see negative display in low lighting conditions, which has been a real deal breaker for many of these GM2100s, but there's certainly no issue telling the time on this one. And the lighter screen certainly suits this model's overall aesthetics, so a great design choice on all fronts. A great feature to note of the GM2100 series in general is the day dial on the left hand side as you look at the watch, doing exactly what it says on the tin and displaying what day of the week it is and giving the face more depth and 3D structure. And last but by no means least, another cool design feature to note is its glow in the dark hands, something again very useful to have when taking a quick glance of your wrist in low lighting. So we've run through its looks, now let's see if it has the brains to match and head into the functionality section. With this GM2100 you'll receive G-Shock's infamous shock resistance, which will literally meet the demands of anything you throw at it. Trust me, try it out as well as 200 meter water resistance, world time, a stopwatch, a countdown timer, 5 daily alarms, 12 or 24 hour format, hand shift function, calendar and a double LED light with adjustable afterglow. All of which is controlled by the 4 buttons on the outside of the bezel and protected by mineral glass. Battery life is also a very impressive 3 years and if any of my other G-Shocks are anything to go by, it will likely last a whole lot longer than that. And in terms of dimensions, the GM2100MF-5 measures at 49.3mm in length, so from lug to lug, 44.4mm in width and 11.8mm thick, and weighs approximately 72 grams. And as always, I'll leave a link to a full tech spec down below for those of you wanting to read on. So, with all that being said, now's the time for my overall verdict. So, what's my overall verdict of the G-Shock GM2100MF-5? I think this might just be the best GM2100 metal Casio so far. Now, I've made no allusion to the fact I'm a big fan of these models ever since they were first released almost exactly a year ago in August 2021. I've reviewed a handful of them on my channel, they're incredibly comfortable, durable and look awesome. And some of the colours and design iterations we've seen since that first launch date have only continued to improve my perception. But this one, in my opinion, takes the crown for being the most legible. Not only does it have a light grey face and bright hands and indices, but as mentioned, this one features a positive display, which I know will please so many of you. It also helps that this particular model is so striking to look at. The inspiration of this series is exemplified perfectly with the colours, materials and finishes used on this timepiece. It's not too bold to look at from a distance, but as mentioned, as you get closer or when it catches the right light, that's when you can really appreciate just how stunning this watch really is. So. If you're looking for a new watch that's light, durable, premium, legible and most importantly won't break the bank, then this GM2100 MF-5 might just be the one for you. And with all that being said, that just about wraps this one up guys. I'm keen to know your thoughts. Have you got one of the GM2100 series and what do you think about this model? And now we've seen solar and bluetooth added to the all resin models and the latest all metal Casio review coming soon by the way. Do we think this functionality might be added to these models sometime soon? I certainly hope so. And again, a big thank you to Watchshop, and if you're interested, I'll leave a link to their site in the description down below. And finally, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for loads more reviews and unboxings of some of your favourite G-Shock releases. Thanks so much again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.